I've been working on the end level scene and I'm finally satisfied with where it is, so let's go and check it out. So for those who missed that, let's take a step back and break down what's going on here. The whole endgame script is set into motion by a trigger on the flagpole. First off, we need to freeze Mario on the x-axis so that he cannot go left or right. Then we need to turn off all of his animations. Down pull is a boolean that activates a script in the update function that uh, increases Mario's velocity on the y-axis so that he goes down the pole until he reaches a certain y-value. Then we activate the animation on the flagpole so that the flag goes down. And finally we need to use a special delay function. Alrighty guys, so now we're in the I enumerator execute after time function and the reason why we're using this function is because it facilitates delaying certain things which is what we need in this end level transition. So on the flagpole trigger we added a constraint to Mario so that he couldn't move left and right and that turned off the freeze rotation so now we're putting it back on so that he can't basically fall over when he hits the ground. Next we need to wait a second because we're waiting for the flag animation to finish. So that's what we do and then after that we wait two seconds. We just multiply times by two because time is equal to one. And by this time Mario will have gotten to the bottom so we stop his velocity so that he stops going down. Next we translate Mario on the X so that he goes to the other side of the flagpole and then we flip his sprite. So once we flip him we have to wait a little bit and then flip him again so that he could start heading towards the castle. And what we do next I don't fully understand, it's a very strange syntax for me, but basically the gist of it is that we need to enable him his freeze rotation and we also need to take off that constraint where that doesn't allow him to move left and right and the syntax is using or so we're doing this or that but it's strange because to me it should be and like we want to do both of these things so if anyone can explain this to me i would be very grateful and finally we trigger the move alone boolean which allows mario just to walk on his own, it gives him a velocity on the x-axis. Alright, the final trigger, the castle door. I'm not going to go too in-depth into it because it's fairly simple. First, we want to disable Mario's sprite renderer so that he disappears. And then we need to get to the player score script, which controls the ticking of the time and the score, of course. And basically we're going to decrease the time using delta time times 30 and also increase the score at the same time. Then we play the win level sound and it's not in here but I translate the flag up on the y-axis and we finally load level 2 finally. So for those of you interested how I made the, that retro sounding music in my game, I used this program called FL Studio and I found this really nice plugin. So normally you have like, uh, you can make piano sounds, but we, I wanted to make the retro sounds and this plugin basically gives you a retro piano. So see, it just gives you a nice retro piano. I found a tutorial on YouTube like that kind of guides you through making this retro sound and it's basically it, it's best to find like a scale that you want to do. I don't remember what scale this is, but you just pick notes within that scale. I really went random on this and uh, that's what Yeah, that's what I came up with. And 
so yeah, the the bread and butter of it was the plugin that I found. And then when uh, it's counting the coin, all I did was I just did this over and over again. Uh, I chose a different note, of course, but that's basically all it was. All it was. And yeah, like, it's really fun playing around with the music, trying to make things positive, of course, like if you beat the level and negative if you die. So um, yeah, my goal for this month, April, was to get into FL Studio more, and I'm really happy with how it came out with. So guys, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Sorry for the delay on this video. I was in the mountains during the Easter break, just, you know, resting. It's very hard to me to, to rest, so there probably won't be many of these breaks. But if you guys liked this type of video, I know it was very informative, less, less entertainment. Just let me know what you think. If the text was too small, let me know. Positive and negative criticism is welcomed. We're all human beings growing in this journey of life. So, have a very good day, week, night, morning, whenever you're watching this. And hopefully I'll catch you later.